Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problem sum under the topic Program Evaluation and Review Technique, also known as PERT, under the chapter Network Analysis under the subject Operation Research. Again, a very important topic for all the students appearing for SEM 6 of TYBMS. Okay, in this video, we are going to learn uh, basically an entire like whatever can come in this particular topic from that one sum we are going to figure it out okay in this sum basically we are going to try to find uh, you know first we'll have to construct something called as a network diagram find the critical part find the probability and then thereafter find the number of days or the duration okay so this particular topic will cover up basically each and everything so let us see let us see okay how and what kind of sum can come under this particular topic Okay, now let us see how to solve sums based on uh, based on network analysis under the topic PERT. Okay, the full form of PERT is program evaluation and review technique. Okay, so we'll, there's a question in front of you. We'll just go through it once. The details of nine activities of a project are as follows. They're giving you the various activities. After that, they're giving you time in days. That is optimistic, most likely and pessimistic. Okay, that is A, M and B which they are given and they are giving you various number of days. After that they are asking you construct a network diagram. B, determine the various path and critical path. C, calculate probability of completion of the project in 38 days. And fourth, calculate the project duration. If the probability of the project completion is 94.5%. So now when you look at the second, third and the fourth question, in one they are asking you to find the probability when days are given and second, find the days when the probability is given. Okay. So that is the, on the later part of the question. The first thing is we need to make a network diagram and we need to find the various paths and critical paths. Okay. Now, before constructing a uh, critical, uh, the diagram, okay, the network diagram and the critical part, we'll have to first create a table in which we will be able to find something called as an expected time. Now, if you look carefully in the question, they are given you the activity, but then they haven't given you the duration, the expected time. Okay, because in the diagram, we'll have to mark, you know, we'll have to, whenever we make the diagram, we'll have to mark the duration. The duration is not given so that is called expected time and for finding the probabilities and all we need one more value called as variance okay so before constructing the diagram this is a table that we'll have to first create we'll have activity okay so i've taken all those values from the question all the values of activity okay thereafter there is a that is optimistic time most likely time and pessimistic time okay whatever is there in the question i have constructed here is called activity then we'll have cap you know alphabet a m and b okay so those three columns have been taken from the question a stands for optimistic m is for most likely and b is for pessimistic okay after noting that we'll have to first find expected time okay that is nothing but t e the formula for which is a plus 4m plus b divided by 6. Okay. So now let us see how to calculate them. Okay. One by one. The very first, the very first for activity 1 and 2, a plus 4m plus b divided by 6. The whole thing divided by 6. Okay. So we'll have 20, 34, 40. Uh, no, uh, 5 fours are 20, 20 plus 14 is 34, 34 plus 2 is 36, 36 divided by 6, the value will be 6. Similarly for the second one, it will be 2 plus 4 into 5 plus 8, whatever answer you get divided by 6, the value that you all should get is 5. Again same way A that is 5 plus 4 into 11 plus 29. Whatever answer you get divided by 6, you all should get the value as 13. 1 plus 4 into 4 plus 7. Whatever answer divided by 6, you should get the value as 4. 5 plus 4 into 11 plus 17. Whatever answer you get divided by 6, you should get the value as 11. 2 plus 4 into 5 plus 14. 
वट एवर आंसर यू गेट डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स इज सिक्स टू प्लस फोर इंटू नाइन प्लस ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स इज इलेवन टू प्लस फोर इंटू टू प्लस एट डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स वट एवर आंसर यू गेट इज आंसर इज थ्री एंड लास्ट सेवन प्लस फोर इंटू थर्टीन प्लस थर्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स वट एवर आंसर यू गेट अगे द वैल्यू शुड बी फिफ्टीन so with this we were able to find the expected time now similarly we'll have to find the variance now variance ka formula is b minus a the whole square divided by 36 okay so in our first example so in the first case it will be b is 14 minus a which is 2 the whole square divided by 36 okay so when you square subtract is square divide by 36 the first value that you all should get is 4 next 8 minus 2 the whole square upon 36 the answer that you all should get is 1 next 29 minus 5 the whole square divided by 36 the value that you all should get is 16 next 7 minus 1 the whole square divided by 36 you all should get the value as 1 Next, seventeen minus five, the whole square divided by thirty-six. The value that you all should get is four. Next, fourteen minus two, the whole square divided by thirty-six. The value that you all should get is again four. Okay, next, twenty-seven minus three, the whole square divided by thirty-six. the value that you all should get is 16 8 minus 2 the whole square divided by 36 the value that you all should get is 1 and lastly 31 minus 7 the whole square divided by 36 the value that you all should get is 16 okay so this is how you all have to first find the expected time and variance okay now once this is ready now we can start with the construction of our diagram okay of a network diagram now if you look carefully in the question or you can even look at the activity which i have written here so activity 1 from 1 there is activity 2 from 1 there is activity 6 so i will start my first node with activity 1 from activity 1 i have activity 2 Activity one and two का duration the expected time is six already right? there is six from one I even have activity six coming out so I'll write here activity six which is coming out from one the duration for which is five I'll write this as five now from x from two activity two I have activity three and activity four okay so from activity two I have activity three. Uh, I'll make this as activity three. The duration is thirteen, and from activity two, I even have activity four. The duration for which is four. Okay. After that, uh, from activity three, we have five, and from four also we have five. So from three I have five, and from four also I have five. So from three to five it is eleven, and four to five it is six. Then we have six to seven, and five to eight, and seven to eight. So I can write this as from six to seven. The duration is eleven. And now from five to eight and seven to eight, so they both are converging from five to eight and seven to eight. From five to eight, the duration is three, and seven to eight, the duration is fifteen. Okay, so with this, we were able to solve the very first thing that is what they ask us to find a draw the network diagram. So we have drawn the network diagram. Now, secondly, they have asked us to now find. determine the various path and critical path so first let us see what are the various paths available here 
Okay, I can go with one, two, three, five, eight. That's the very first part. So I have one, two, three, five, eight. The total of the timings are six plus thirteen plus eleven plus three, which comes to thirty-three days. The second part I can take it as one, two, four, five, eight. So one, two, four, five, eight. So that's one, two, four, five, and eight. The duration is six plus four plus six plus three, which comes to nineteen days. Again, for those uh, who are finding this part difficult, how to how from where these values are coming? Okay, we have already done uh, you know a couple of videos ahead of this, which I'll, and with the help of which you can understand how to draw the network diagram and how to get the critical path. Okay, so those who haven't seen that, you all can even go through that. Third, I can go with one six seven eight. So one six seven eight. The durations are five plus eleven plus fifteen, which comes to thirty one days. Okay, so those were my different paths. I can get three paths from this particular diagram. Now, we need to find the critical path from this. So my critical path is the one which has the highest days, which is one, two, three, five, and eight. And therefore, I can say the project duration will be the days. Thirty-three days. Okay, so this is how you had to basically solve. Okay, from the question, whenever the Perth, some based on Perth is given, you need to first find the expected time. Then we need to find the variance. Still, we haven't used this. Okay, this will be using ahead. From the expected time, we were able to construct the network diagram. From that, we were able to get the path and critical path. Okay. So I hope everyone have understood till this part. Now we will jump to the next part, that is C part, where they are asking us to find. Okay, now in the question they are asking you to find calculate the probability of completion of project in 38 days. Okay, so now let us see how to solve do that part. And even the last part where they are asking you to find the duration when the probability is given. Okay, so when you look at the last two part, you will realize that those are two different things. So now let us see how to solve this part. Okay, now uh, in order to solve, uh, see, remember now this thing very carefully. Okay, now when they tell you to find the probability, okay, or find the duration when probability is given, the very first thing that you will have to find, or the very first thing what you have to find will be the standard deviation of the expected project length. Okay, so I'll write here now step number C. Okay, here I will be finding basically now the standard deviation of expected project length. Basically, we are trying to find here the standard deviation. Okay, now for finding the standard deviation, the formula of standard deviation is the root of variance. Okay, so we need to first find variance, or you can even call it a variation of critical part. Okay, so here I will write variance of critical path. Now. Remember what's a critical part, okay? In this case, so what I'll do here, the one what we did, if you look carefully, a critical part was one, two, three, five, eight, okay? So we have to look at those parts now here. Now look at this very carefully. Activity one and two, one and two ka variance is four. Remember this, okay? Two and three, activity two and three ka variance is sixteen. Three and five, activity three and five ka variance is four. And activity five and eight, the variance is one. So four, sixteen, four, and one. These are my values of the variance of my critical part. So four, sixteen, four, and one. Those are the 
values of my one and so for that I need this table in order to find the standard deviation this is the table which is required okay we follow the critical path okay whatever is the critical part based on the activity we will note down our variance so as we said it was 4 16 4 and 1 so now I will use that in our sum okay so variance of critical part was 4 plus 16 plus 4 plus 1 which comes to 25 okay therefore standard deviation of a critical part is nothing but the root of variance which is nothing but the root of 25 which we get it as 5 so my value of standard deviation is 5 okay the value of standard deviation is 5 now they are asking you to find the probability okay the question says calculate the probability of completion of the project in 38 days so therefore they are asking you to find the probability x if it will get over within or by 38 days so we need to find the probability that the completion the work has completed within 38 days where basically your x is nothing but your duration okay so they're telling you your duration should be you're finding a probability where the duration is supposed to be less than or equal to 38 now for finding this we'll have to use the formula of z okay where z stands for due date minus project completion time upon standard deviation okay in symbolically z is equal to x minus te upon standard deviation where we are trying to first find the value of z because in order to find the probability i need the value of z so x is the duration so duration was 38 days we need to find that TE is the project completion time. So in a critical path, okay, again I'll show you that previously what we did. If you look carefully, your project completion or project duration is 38 days of a critical part. So here, this is nothing but a project completion time which is 33 days. So I'll write this as minus 33. Upon the standard deviation that we have got is 5. So 38 minus 3, 33 is 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So my value of Z is 1 okay now from here listen to this very carefully once you get the value of z now you'll have to find the value of z there is z table okay z table may say okay, they will give you a log table which will have the values of z table basically not log basically a, a z table there we'll have to search what is the value of one okay so now first let us see what is the value of one from the z table okay now to find the value of z from the you know the table the z table or a normal distribution table so this is how your table basically look like okay they will give you various you know uh, values now we need to find the value a z table ka value was one so now if you look carefully if you look carefully here if you look carefully this is the value of one one i can see the value of one here and the value corresponding to one is 0 0.3413 so this will be the this is basically our value of z that we will have to take in the problem sum okay so okay so the we got the value of one of z z1 is equal to 0 0.3413 now let us use this value into the sum and see how we can go ahead with the problem sum okay now if we, we have already seen that the value of z is 0 0.3413 from the table therefore I'll write therefore the table value of z equals to 1 is 0 0.3413 therefore finally what is the probability that the work will get over in 38 days is equal to is equal to the formula is always 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 that's the value actual value of z or standard value of z plus whatever we have got in our table value that is 0 
when we add up okay we will get the value as 0.8413 that's the value of our probability need to convert this into percentage form so it will be 0.4813 into 100 therefore our probability will come to 40 uh, sorry 84.13 percent so therefore the probability of completing the project in 38 days equals to 84.13 percent okay so this is the way you all need to solve you need to find the value uh, of probability when they have given you a specific day okay Ki find the probability that it gets over in such period okay a period is given so this is how you all will have to solve first find the standard deviation then find the value of z then from the z whatever value you get in the z check in the table and then apply it into the probability ka formula where 0 0.5 will be the default value okay now so this was uh, you know step number c what they had asked us to find now the last part if you look at the question it said that calculate duration now if probability is given 94.5 so it's a reverse they are giving you the probability and they're asking you to find the duration it's a reverse order may so now let us see how to solve this whole thing in the reverse order so this is step number d now the t thing what you're finding so here now they have given you probability as 94.5 percent if it was in person we'll have to convert it into point form okay we are added 0 0.5 so we'll be subtracting 0 0.5 then we will get the table value from table value we'll have to reconvert it into z value and then we'll put in the z and get the value of duration okay let's go in the reverse order so this is nothing but 94.5 is nothing but 0 0.945 from this i will have to minus the value of 0 0.5 always so I will get the value of 0.445. Okay, so that 0.445 is nothing but the actual table value. Okay, so the table value is 0.445. So now I'll have to find in the table again, what will be the actual value of Z now. Okay, so now let us check into the table again. Okay, now uh, we have got the, you know, the value uh, from the table as 0 0.445. So now let us search where I can find 0 0.445. Okay, so this is 4344, 4444, 441, and this is 445. Then after that is 6 and also the, so, so basically this is, okay, I'll just zoom it here. Okay, so this is basically a value. Okay, 0 0.445. So this is the nearest value to whatever we require. Okay, in the question, in, in, while solving, we got that probability of 0 0.445. And 0 0.4452 is the nearest value. Because see, before that, it is 0 0.441. And this is 0 0.445. So this is the nearest value. And the value corresponding to that is a Z value, which is 1.6. Okay. So now let us see how you can use the value of Z and get the answer required answer. Okay. Chalo. So this was the nearest value 0 0.4452 and the value corresponding to that was 1.6. So we are going to use this 1.6 and we'll see how to go ahead with the problem sum. Okay. So from the table, we came to know that the nearest value of 0 0.445 is 0 0.4452 okay and the value which is corresponding to that will be the value of z so value of z we came to know was 1.6 now using the formula of z that is due date minus project completion upon standard deviation so x minus te upon standard deviation z is 1.6 x we are finding completed time was 33 standard deviation was 5 we will cross multiply 1.5 into 5 is equal to x minus 33 so this becomes 8 
is equal to x minus 33. This is minus 33 when it goes to the other side will become plus. So 8 plus 33 is equal to x. So your value is 41. Our x ka value is 41. Therefore, the project duration for 94.5% probability is 41 days. So in 41 days, the work will be completed having a probability of 94.5%. So this is how you all had to solve the sum first part when uh, days are given and they're asking you to find the probability and secondly, find the probability when the, uh, you know, when the probability is given, find the number of days. Okay, so this is all about the topic based on network analysis under which we are going to so under which we have solved the sum based on PERT. Okay, which is program evaluation and review technique PERT. Okay, so in which we have to first find the expected time and variance, then we have to get into the network diagram, get the critical part and the uh, you know different parts, then get they can ask you find the probability or find the duration. Okay, so this entire topic only consists of these four things, which you have to remember. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood this. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.